Uh, gone from TNA after being there for more than a decade. Rumors that he could be headed to NXT very soon. There are about five people that could make the transition from TNA to WWE and be relevant. Sting, Ric Flair, Hulk Hogan, Kurt Angle. Christian, they did it. Jeff Hardy, Matt Hardy, they can do it. Booker T. Booker T, he could do it. Samoa Joe, not one of them. I am sorry. To me, and yes, I understand that Bray Wyatt's not put together like a steroid Jack Ryback. I understand that Rikishi, who's going into the Hall of Fame, doesn't have the perfect body. But for me, Samoa Joe just doesn't fit in on top, on top of the fact that there are a cluster of a dozen to 15 superstars on the main roster right now who need to be getting that push, who are talented, more talented than Samoa well, Joe. Oh, and I didn't even mention NXT yet. Well, bear, well, and bear in mind, though, if Samoa Joe does go to NXT first, uh, that's not... We're seeing with Rhino, Kendrick, we're seeing that NXT is doing something where they like to bring some veteran guys in and adds credibility and helps uh, it helps you know establish this brand so it's not all just young guys coming up through the WWE system. You know, as soon as Samoa Joe left TNA, I said if I was Samoa Joe's, you know, legal consultant or career consultant, I wouldn't go to WWE simply because you can make more money, have more freedom and opportunity working everywhere else. When you work WWE, you can't work anywhere else. When you work everywhere else, you can work everywhere else except for WWE. You follow that? He can go to Ring of Honor and he can still work Japan. He can work any indie. But once you're with WWE, you're locked in there. But I think we also have to take into factor, and you can speak from this as, as being an athlete. This is, this, is, this is not just subject to pro wrestling. Athlete. Every athlete wants to get to the top of the mountain. And no matter what the critics say, no matter what the IWC haters say whenever they're mad at Vince McMahon and WWE, WWE is still the top of the mountain. It's still where you're going to be the most global, globally branded star and make the most money in the quickest fashion. So Samoa Joe has never been Samoa Joe in WWE. He worked some dark matches back in the late 90s, but he's never got to do his gimmick in WWE. And that might be one of those things where he says, you know what, i got to give it a try. And now I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means I'm gonna be in NXT, if he's going to be in NXT and and work with Kevin Owens and, and send all these guys to the main roster. Maybe he gets a main roster shot. I'm not sure. I would still say, Joe, don't go to WWE. But I certainly respect the athlete of him saying, you know, I, I got to find out. Can I do it?